Hello, I'm Bill Bullard with RCAF USA, the voice of the independent cattle producer in the United States of America. Well, picture this. A multinational beef packer calls your local grocery store and says it will offer a discounted price on a truckload of beef steaks and roasts. And all of it is shelf ready in individual packages and labeled as product of the USA. Now, it's doubtful your local grocery store would ever refuse such an offer. After all, the grocer stands to pay less for the product, which will increase the grocery store's margins because the retail price that consumers pay will likely remain the same. So now picture yourself buying steaks at your local grocery store and taking them home to grill for yourself or for your family, children, or friends. And when the cooking is done, you tell everyone to dig in. You're eating good old American beef. So now wake up because chances are good that the beef you purchased was not American beef, and that is beef from cattle born, raised, and harvested in the United States of America. No, that truckload of discounted beef from your grocer could well be beef from animals that were exclusively born, raised, and harvested in Uruguay, or in any one of the 20 or so countries from which the U.S. imports beef. And under current law, placing a product of the USA label on beef produced exclusively in a foreign country is perfectly legal provided the beef packer does one thing, and that is to apply some measure of processing to the product, such as taking it out of the original package and rewrapping it. So under current law, you've been deceived, or you've been tricked, whichever way you'd like to think about it. But it didn't used to be that way. For several years, until Congress repealed the Mandatory Country of Origin Labeling, or MCU law, for beef back in 2015, all foreign beef imported into the U.S. was required to retain its foreign label through retail sale, meaning all the way to you, the consumer. But that requirement was stripped upon beef's removal from the MCU law, which means there is no longer a requirement that beef packers, processors, and retailers treat you with dignity and respect. Instead, it means they have the green light to deceive and trick you. And of course, some of them do. So now that you know this, what can you do? Well, the solution is way easy. All we need to do is restore MCOOL for beef and the deception and trickery ends. But actually implementing that solution will require action on your part because none of us can do it alone. But if we all pitch in, it will be done. Now there's a bipartisan bill introduced in Congress called the American Beef Labeling Act. It will restore MCOOL for beef. In the Senate, it's Senate Bill 2716 and in the House, it's House Bill 7291. But the bill isn't moving. There's too much back pressure from the beef packers and processors and retailers who make higher margins when you're kept in the dark. So we must overcome that dastardly back pressure and we have a plan. And here's the plan. Beginning now and running for two weeks is the American Beef Labeling Act Weeks of Action. RCAF USA has joined forces with many other organizations representing consumers, farmers, manufacturers, workers, and others in what we call the National MCOOL Coalition. And this is who's fighting to help end the deception and trickery in your grocery store. Now, the coalition asked that you go to your internet browser and type in labelourbeef.com, all one word, labelourbeef.com. And when you do, click on MCOOL campaign. And that will bring up a form that you can type your contact information in. And as soon as you do that and click next, both your U.S. senators and your representative will pop up along with an automatic message urging them to co-sponsor the American Beef Labeling Act. And all you need to do is click Submit, and that's it. So in a quick minute, you can help overcome the deceptive back pressure by letting your entire congressional delegation know that you want them to support MCOOL for Beef by becoming a co-sponsor of the American Beef Labeling Act. And so in this simple way, your voice will be added to thousands of other voices that can move Congress. And we've set a goal to have 10,000 messages sent to Congress during the next two weeks. So what's so cool about MCOOL? Well, it can be won without you having to take much time away from your busy schedules. And when you win, you will once again be treated as a valued customer by being afforded accurate information as to the origin of the beef you buy for yourself and your family. In other words, when you help restore MCOOL for beef, you will help restore your right to choose. So remember, go to labelourbeef.com and just follow the instructions. Thank you for your help and goodbye.